Hi, it's Dwyer, gamblersadvisory.com, DwyerVIP.com for premium picks. Look us up in the sports section on Roku. We're there, Dwyer Boxing and Sports News. Remember, the opinion you should follow should be your own, especially when it comes to this video. Just consider this opinion to be a second opinion from a complete stranger online. <clears throat> you know, when the public falls in love with an athlete, right, whether it's Manny Pacquiao or Peyton Manning, in my opinion, that's more beer for gamblers, right? Because, quite frankly, when you're in love, you see things that aren't there. You imagine things that don't exist, right? Now, I made a previous video. I suspect I'm not alone in thinking that Timothy Bradley is going to beat Manny Pacquiao in the rematch. I think Bradley is going to do much better than he did in the first fight. I'm guessing there's a group of you out there who feel the same way. But just like the group that favored the Seattle Seahawks in the Super Bowl were pretty quiet before the game took place, the Timothy Bradley crowd has been pretty quiet as this fight has been announced. Right? The feeling is that Manny Pacquiao got robbed in the first fight. Even as many of you in the comment section to my earlier video on this fight noted that Bradley won on your scorecards four and five rounds frequently. Right? In other words, to me a rip-off fight is a fight like Ray Beltran against Ricky Burns. Right? That's a rip-off fight. It's uh, Pernell Whitaker against Julio Cesar Chavez. That's a rip-off fight. Gabriel Campillo against Tavares Cloud. Right? When there's a fight where you're watching the fight and you're thinking, wow, you know, this guy really went to town, embarrassed the other fighter. Then when they're trying to sell you on the other guy winning, you know, that leaves you scratching your head. But let me just say this. You don't feel that way in fights that are 7-5. Right? If you believe Timothy Bradley swept the last three rounds of the first fight, and if you go back and look at the first two rounds of that first fight, folks, that's five rounds before I get to rounds like round seven. Right? So, I understand Manny Pacquiao, who really is in my opinion, like Tim Tebow, right? I understand that Manny Pacquiao is a great guy. I admire Manny Pacquiao much more than people realize, right? He's a guy who cares about his people, like Vitaly Klitschko. He's uh, in politics. He's trying to change the Philippines. Uh, he has a core entourage. He's with them between fights. He treats them like royalty. These guys have his back. I get the feeling when they're all together, Manny Pacquiao treats everyone like they're equals. I think he's a great guy. When you see him in these face-offs before fights, I've always admired how Manny Pacquiao diffuses the face-off. He's always complimentary of his opponent, he always, you know, views the event as a sporting event, not a test of manhood. I'm very impressed with that. But again, I'll be taking Timothy Bradley. I believe Timothy Bradley has solved some things about Manny Pacquiao. I believe he solved them early in the fight. So the best way to analyze Pacquiao's style is to compare him with another very well-known boxer who has, like Pacquiao, one-punch knockout power from distance, right? A straight hand with his dominant hand. And that's heavyweight champion Vladimir Klitschko. Let's look at the two guys. I believe one of these guys is harder to crack than the other one, right? Just bear with me. It's the middle of a work day. This is on my mind. Okay, now, 
Vladimir's right-handed, Manny's left-handed, but both guys throw great straight punches with their dominant hand. So, from halfway across the ring, Vladimir Klitschko can knock you unconscious with his right hand, right? In my opinion, from halfway across the ring, especially early in fights, I understand he hasn't had a lot of knockouts lately, but his background is as a knockout puncher. Manny Pacquiao's straight left hand from distance remains one of boxing's great punches, just like Vladimir Klitschko's straight right hand. Now, both of these fighters have tells on the punch. For balance purposes, both of them have to touch you or at least throw their non-dominant hands before they throw their power shot. Right? In other words, both guys, Vladimir Klitschko, likes to touch you with a jab or throw a jab, right? A right, excuse me, a left jab before he comes back with a sledgehammer right hand, right? Manny Pacquiao likes to throw a right hand before he hits you with his sledgehammer left, right? Again, we're talking from distance. Now, let me just say one thing. Understand this separates them from guys who I feel are more complicated. Right? There is a group of fighters in the sport that can hit you out the gate with power shots. They can lead with long power shots. Right? Let me just point out the obvious. Floyd Mayweather against Robert Guerrero. Mayweather's right-handed. Mayweather throws throughout that fight several straight lead right hands. There's no left hand in front of it. He's able to hit Guerrero with power shots and get out of the way. Right? Brad Solomon. Another guy with this gift. In my opinion, those guys are a different level. One Manuel Marquez, right? Those guys have thought it through a little bit differently than these guys. Understand, Manny Pacquiao, multi-divisional champion. Vladimir Klitschko, heavyweight champion for a very long time. I'll concede. That there is one fight that's fascinating with Vladimir Klitschko. It's the rematch against Tony Thompson. I'll concede that Vladimir Klitschko surprised me in that fight, drops his structure, and starts leading with power punches. But that fight's highly unusual against a fighter who Klitschko had already fought before. Right? Nine times out of ten. In fact, 9.9 .9 times out of ten. Vladimir Klitschko needs to touch you with a left hand before he throws that straight right from distance. The same is true with Manny Pacquiao. So given that, that these guys have tells, right, as opposed to a Mayweather, right, as opposed to an Andre Ward, right, given that these guys have tells, these guys need to freeze you before they hit you with their Sunday punch, right? They need to momentarily confuse you so they can come back and hit you with a Sunday punch, right? Let me just say too, by the way, Victor Ortiz, the rumor is he's thinking of retirement. Victor Ortiz is a guy who could lead with power shots. Ortiz is very talented. Maybe he's down on his luck right now. But understand the talent leaps out at you on film. Right? So, how do these guys freeze you before they get off power shots? I believe this separates these two boxers. Vladimir Klitschko has one of the sport's best jabs. He bludgeons you with the jab. Right? Right? You're getting hit in the face with this jab.
so many times that eventually you don't see the right hand behind it. Right? Vladimir Klitschko can operate in slow motion. When he comes in and he's bludgeoning you with the jab, right, the fight doesn't start until you get by the jab. And understand, the jab's not his dominant punch. It's the straight right hand behind it. That's the punch he knocks people out with. So, whether Vladimir Klitschko is being active or being inactive, as long as he, excuse me, has that jab, if you're outside against him, many an opponent's gonna be frozen, right? Klitschko can even pace himself. He can start cautiously. He doesn't have to move around the ring a lot. Right? He's able to come in, hit you with the jab. It gets to the point where you have to stand out of the way of the jab. Then it gets interesting. Because Klitschko from distance can knock you out with a lead left hook. Right? It's not just the great straight right hand. It's a lead left hook. So if I'm there and I'm clever, and I say, hey, you know what? I'm not going to let this guy hit me with the jab. Right? If I have the foot speed, and in the heavyweight division, many don't. If I have the foot speed to stay outside of the jab, if I get negligent like Eddie Chambers at the end of the Chambers Vladimir Klitschko fight. And if I fall asleep on the left hook, Klitschko can close the show. He doesn't have to be close to me to do it. Now let's talk about Manny Pacquiao. Pacquiao's interesting. Pacquiao's the opposite of Klitschko because Klitschko fights can start slow. You're three, four rounds in and Klitschko hasn't done anything other than throw a jab and he's winning those rounds. Because you can't get by the jab. Right? Klitschko might not even throw a hard straight right hand until the fifth, sixth, seventh rounds. And he's always balanced. You hardly ever see Klitschko stumbling around the ring. Right? He's balanced. It's a jab, 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 right hand. Right? Or it's a jab, jab, jab. You jump in to get by the jab. He clinches you. Not a lot of an inside game. Right? Not a lot of body shots. He clinches you. Then, of course, you go back to jab, jab, jab. Guess what? You're losing the round. Now, let's talk about Manny Pacquiao. Keep in mind, like Klitschko, Pacquiao needs to touch you with his non-dominant hand before he throws, or at least throw the hand, before he throws his real punch. That's straight left hand. Right? So, Manny needs to freeze you. You want to know how Manny does it? With rhythm and speed. He's so fast that opponents literally are hypnotized. The speed freezes them. Manny also bounces like this. Right? Watch a Manny Pacquiao fight when he's at his best. He'll come in and he'll go like this. Right? It freezes guys. He's too fast for them. Right? So when Manny starts a fight, he's going like this. He's bouncing around. He throws a perfunctory right hand. He's a lefty. Then he'll throw a hard, straight left hand. Unlike Vladimir Klitschko, Manny's right hand's inaccurate. He doesn't have the pile driver jab. He's not bludgeoning you with the jab. To the Pacquiao crowd, when is the last time you watched a fight and you thought, man, Pacquiao's landing that jab. This other guy's getting beaten up by the jab. Doesn't happen. Right? Also, Manny is expending more energy than Vladimir Klitschko. Some Vladimir Klitschko fights, it looks like he might as well be in pajamas, right? He's standing there, he's using length, he's shooting a jab, right? That's it. You don't see Vladimir Klitschko jumping around the ring and doing all of this. You do see Manny Pacquiao doing that, 
right? Because he's trying to get you into his rhythm. The rhythm throws you off. You see Pacquiao, he's going like this, he's going like this. Suddenly, here's a straight left hand, hits you on the button, can take you out. You remember the Miguel Cotto fight? Miguel Cotto's fighting Manny. Manny's speed literally disintegrates Cotto, right? Pacquiao drops Cotto multiple times in the fight, right? Pacquiao's just too blindingly fast. Here's why Pacquiao's not as complicated as Vladimir Klitschko. Here's why Pacquiao is more vulnerable than Vladimir Klitschko. Number one, he's one-handed. There's no lead right hook on Manny Pacquiao. This isn't fighting Vladimir Klitschko. In other words, Vladimir Klitschko, I'm dodging one of the game's best jabs. Suddenly, while he's still cautious, here's a left hook, not even a right hand. Here's a left hook that hits me upside the head, that makes me remember I'm fighting a heavy-handed guy. If I'm really sloppy, I might get hit with a straight right hand and take it out of my misery. With Manny Pacquiao, if I'm fighting Pacquiao from distance, not up close, but from distance, I can focus on that straight left. I don't have to worry about a right hook knocking me out. I don't have to worry about a right jab bludgeoning me. I can literally steer at his one weapon from distance. There's no Klitschko jab. There's no Klitschko lead hook. Right? There just isn't. Let me briefly mention why I feel Floyd Mayweather is much more complicated than Manny Pacquiao. Understand, Mayweather has the lead left hook. Understand, Mayweather has a dynamic Klitschko doesn't have. With Klitschko, just like with Ali, everything's up top. Klitschko's a headhunter. He's trying to take you out up top. The Klitschko knockouts are guys getting hit in the chin, in the temple, in the head, taken out. With Floyd, you can't say that. Mayweather is a devastating body puncher with that lead left hook, right? That's a lead punch Manny Pacquiao doesn't have. Let me also point out that Mayweather, and keep in mind, Mayweather can throw long straight right hands without anything thrown before it in the combination. You'll notice that Mayweather against Canelo, against Guerrero, I'm just picking recent fights, will throw long right hands to the guy's chest, to the guy's solar plexus, in addition to throwing it to the guy's head. In other words, there's a level of complexity that doesn't exist with Manny Pacquiao, right? Pacquiao comes in, dazzles you with speed. If you fall into his rhythm, he's able to throw straight left hands off rhythm and catch you and drop you, right? Many Manny Pacquiao fights follow a pattern. Take the Brandon Rios fight. The opponent cannot handle Manny Pacquiao's speed. By the time the seventh round comes along, Manny Pacquiao has a big lead. Pacquiao doesn't even have to go for the knockout. He can just dance around, come in, throw combinations, get back outside. Understand, as he's throwing the combinations, he's left hand heavy. The right hands don't have a lot on them. Pacquiao is not framing right hands. Here's the problem with the Timothy Bradley rematch. Then I'm going to throw it open to you. I hope to hear from you on this because I understand Manny Pacquiao, like Peyton Manning, is very popular. I understand I sound like a kook here online. I'm just giving the Pacquiao hardcore the other side of the argument, the side I believe, right? Just understand that in the very 
first round of that fight. In fact, it's the first two rounds. Timothy Bradley is on his front foot. This is before he sprains his ankles. He's on his front foot. He's fighting Pacquiao a little bit differently than Juan Manuel Marquez fought Pacquiao. Now understand, Pacquiao's speed either dazzles you or it doesn't. Timothy Bradley does not fall into the trap of being dazzled by Pacquiao's speed and falling into Pacquiao's rhythm. Rather, he is coming forward. He's throwing a jab on Manny Pacquiao. He's boxing Pacquiao. Bradley's not running in the fight. Contrary to folklore, Bradley throws more punches than Pacquiao in the fight. Now, I know there's a question on the accuracy. The copy box number showed Pacquiao is a lot more accurate. I would just encourage you to look at the film. The people who say Bradley's throwing punches into air need to ask themselves if Bradley's standing right in front of Pacquiao and is mindlessly throwing a lot of punches into the air, why isn't he getting countered? Could you imagine fighting Floyd Mayweather and just going like this, having a left hand extended and not getting countered to death? He's not getting countered because from distance, he knows, we know, that Manny Pacquiao only has a straight left hand. Timothy Bradley has already reached third base against Manny Pacquiao. The speed is not an issue. Pacquiao's mobility is not an issue because Bradley can match Pacquiao in foot speed. You don't believe me? Look at the Bradley Lamont Peterson film. Bradley's above average in foot speed. That's Bradley's game. Just ask Juan Manuel Marquez, right? So Bradley from distance doesn't have to worry about the Vladimir Klitschko jab, the Vladimir Klitschko left hook, right? He's not getting bludgeoned when he stands in front of Manny Pacquiao. If you want to see a punch missing in the fight, you look at Pacquiao's right jab. Right, Bradley knows he's not going to get jabbed to death against Pacquiao. He knows he's not going to see any meaningful right hook from distance. Up close, it's different, but from distance, it's not. He knows that when he comes forward on Manny Pacquiao, Pacquiao doesn't have the space to get off his game. More importantly, unlike Klitschko, who's always balanced, Right? Even when Klitschko throws a right hand, you notice he's able to pull it back. He's never stumbling around the ring. Timothy Bradley knows that Manny Pacquiao's game is so left hand heavy that when he throws it hard, he becomes unbalanced. Right? If Timothy Bradley doesn't sprain both ankles in this rematch, Manny Pacquiao is in for a hell of a hard time in the middle rounds of this fight. You want to know how you know Timothy Bradley cracked Pacquiao's code? Just ask yourself, who won the last three rounds of the first fight? Look at the judges' scorecards. Look at the film. Timothy Bradley isn't falling further behind Manny Pacquiao. No, no. Timothy Bradley, who believes he won the first fight 8-4, by the way. Timothy Bradley is pulling away from Pacquiao at the end of that fight. So, to the Pacquiao crowd, what is Manny Pacquiao going to do in the rematch? That's different than using a lot of upper body movement to try to freeze an opponent so he could throw a long left hand. What's he going to do? Let's talk about inside. You know, inside in the sport of boxing, Timothy Bradley has few peers. 
right? Just a few fights ago, we were talking about Timothy Bradley using his head inside because guys couldn't get out of the way of Bradley being so close to them, pinning them to the point where they were getting hit with Bradley's head. Bradley's absolutely conversant inside. He has a great inside game. You remember the Devin Alexander fight? Think about it, too. Think about that Devin Alexander fight. Alexander is a slick southpaw. Dare I say, Alexander has more slickness on him, a higher degree of difficulty, in my opinion, than Manny Pacquiao. You have to worry about a few things with Devin Alexander, right? Manny Pacquiao, he's not gonna pot shot you to the body from distance. You know the angle on his left hand. He doesn't throw looping punches, it's straight. So you know that left hand's gonna come in at about this angle, don't you? Look at the films. Manny Pacquiao from distance, he lands some great straight left hands from distance against Oscar De La Hoya. Look at the films. It's straight. Right? I mean, you know, all I'm saying is now he's fighting a very good defensive fighter who knows when he's throwing left hands, who knows how to fight fast himself, and who isn't thrown by Manny Pacquiao's movement. So all I'm saying is Pacquiao is that fastball pitcher who in the first four innings of a game overpowers you. But if you're Miguel Cabrera or some great hitter, if you eventually catch up to the speed of his game, there isn't the changeup. There isn't the curveball. There isn't the rest of the pitching repertoire to confuse you. Right, Timothy Bradley's not only not confused right now, according to the judges, forget this hack, according to the judges, he won the last three rounds of the fight. I believe only one judge in one round votes for Manny Pacquiao. Right, so all I'm saying is understand, Bradley, Joel Diaz, his corner, they're viewing Pacquiao from distance as a straight right hand up top, right at this angle, right? Not that complicated. Unless Manny Pacquiao changes that, Timothy Bradley is gonna be ready. I like Bradley here. I think Bradley wins the fight. I think the scoring on the fight's gonna be controversial. So to the gamblers, I say be careful on the scoring. But I believe Pacquiao's best moments are going to be early in the fight. He didn't knock out Timothy Bradley when Bradley had two sprained ankles. Think about that. What's he going to do here? Hasn't Bradley already made it out of the early rounds? Right? This is different than fighting someone like Vladimir Klitschko, where... You're dealing with so much, right? The lead jab that Klitschko doesn't have to throw anything else to win the fight. The lead left hook, the straight right hand from distance, the clinching when you get inside. Is Manny Pacquiao a big time clincher? Doesn't Manny Pacquiao need room to get leverage to throw that long left hand? Now, maybe against slower-footed Oscar De La Hoya, he couldn't be cornered. Hasn't Timothy Bradley made a career of cornering even fleet guys like Devin Alexander? So, <clears throat> in my opinion, the public loves Manny Pacquiao. He is a great guy. This is an opportunity for gamblers who are simply here to pick a winner, right? I'm expecting Pacquiao to be the favorite, a big favorite. I like Timothy Bradley in this fight. I'd hedge the play with Pacquiao by knockout. Pacquiao does have one punch, knockout power. Bradley has been down. 
most recently against Provotnikov. He was also down against Kendall Holt. Bradley has been down in some fights. Let me hear from you. Leave your comments for me here online. Visit us at gamblersadvisory.com. Thanks for stopping by.